Hey everybody, this is uh, Jim at FreeChartVideos.com using time-honored techniques to understand modern markets. This video is for educational purposes only and it is not intended to be used as any form of investment advice. I control lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own due diligence and make investment decisions that are suitable for your financial situation. I'm not a licensed professional, I'm just a guy that draws lines on charts. So let's look at the S&P 500. Okay, we are looking at a two-day chart. And I just want to take a look at this for a very, very simple reason. And that is a lot of people have been saying, Jim, you've just been nothing but a bull. You know, what's up with that? And, and all I can say is, well, what's up with that is basically the market. And, um, you know, until this market tells us that it is at a top, uh, it's, in my book, it's still a bull market. So uh, certainly it's been rough sledding uh, for the past, oh, off and on, really. We've had some, some tough times over the past four or five months. But, um, but you know, I don't see yet uh, the signal that says, okay, I think the top is in. There is a possibility that, uh, that we could be forming something like that even now. But until it's formed and until it's completed, I prefer just to point it out as a possibility rather than uh, trade on it or try to tell anybody to trade on it or try to pretend like that's what it is. So, therefore, uh, somebody asked me, wh what are you right now? in terms of bullishness or bearishness. And I would describe it at least as of today, uh, June 23rd. Uh, and same thing it's been for the past week, really. I'm a, uh, well, yesterday I said I was a short-term bull, speaking in terms of where would the markets be within a week to a week and a half. Long-term bull, where will the markets be a year from now or a year and a half from now? But I think I'm an intermediate term bear. Uh, until something convinces me otherwise, um, I think we may be setting up a uh, uh, a, a pattern that, that may lead us back down to some areas that we haven't been in a while. But again, that's preliminary. Let's look at uh, what happened uh, today in a little bit closer up fashion. Okay, now looking at a 30-minute chart. Um, I just want to remind you of a couple things that we were looking at. First off, this uh, mustard-colored line right here um, is a line that, uh, that we took out, oh, what, four days ago. Came up and got over this uh, purple line that I thought would be significant support, but today it got cut through like butter. Additionally, this green uh, potential channel that was working for a few days um, that also got cut through like butter. I was not expecting that. Now, I'll, I'll tell you, I was expecting, um, on this day right here, I was expecting a back test of this purple line. Yesterday, I said, you know, I could, I could see a back test of this brown line right here. And if you go back and listen to the video, I almost, I started to say something, but then I kind of took it back. And I said, uh, and you know, if this brown line breaks, it's probably still not the end of the world because, you know, we might get a back test of this line right here. But, and then I said, famous last words, but I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> well, that's, that's what happened. Um, so I had uh, initiated some long positions back here near the end of the day yesterday. Um, and when the market got opened way low, I mean, open below this line, um, I was like going, okay, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to sell here because I think we're going to head for this line and then we're going to bounce back up. And, uh, and that is basically what happened. Now, let, now we got to see what's going to go on tomorrow. Will this strong late part of the day move carry through till tomorrow? and take out this purple line again and maybe come up and test this blue line. Uh, if that is the case, then 
dare I say, we may be looking at another one of these things uh, that have not been too friendly to us lately, but it's possible. Uh, it's possible that this is kind of a rounding bottom slash quasi inverted head and shoulders kind of thing we got going on here. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, you know, once bitten twice shy, I'm not really happy uh, with the failure of the last pattern we saw like this. But if we back off just a little bit, and pardon uh, me for some of these lines getting screwy here, it looks like all of this is being contained now within a, a, a nearly parallel channel with these tops and these bottoms. So once we made the touch on this bottom, the, the, uh, if this is what's going on, then I would expect at some point we uh, intercept this blue line. And if we take that out, then we go back to back test this orange line. I'm still thinking that is a distinct possibility. Um, on weakness today, um, I, did, I did buy a couple of individual stocks. Um, I bought LSI. Um, I got that very near the low of the day. I, I didn't, didn't check it. I set the set the trade up and and uh, uh, you know with a limit and and uh, and, the, and I got filled. And when I found out I got filled, I was already up um, two two or two or three percent on that trade. About two two and a half percent. Um, I also bought some uh, a, a mining stock. Uh, Claude Resources, uh, because that, that stock is in a, a nice channel. I bought it right at the touch on the channel, and there's a sign that it's also heading back up. And guys, the stock that I bought that I didn't tell you about, because it is really just a highly speculative thing, but I bought a little uh, um, a little bit of this YRCW Worldwide, just a dog. But, you know, when I saw this uh, this line down here, get tagged. I said, I got to buy that. And because uh, every time that line gets tagged, it, it has a nice rally. And there we go. I bought it at 64 cents. And now we're at 94 cents just a couple days later. But uh, I don't tell everybody about those goofy little things because these things are just so speculative. Back now to the uh, S&P. Um, let's take a look at a five minute chart. And see if we can see anything uh, of importance here. Well, you know, I had seen what looked like kind of a little inverse head and shoulders develop here that broke out, but then it then it pulled back to about the same level as that right shoulder. And then I guess this was when the news of Greece uh, reaching some kind of an agreement. I haven't I have not read the headlines yet, but apparently uh, that happened about uh, about this moment. And suddenly the markets just started to uh, recover. So I am still thinking that uh, with the break in this green line that took place uh, at the uh, open today, that this line should provide some resistance. This will be some resistance. This will be some resistance. But I think we're going to head up there and test and test and possibly test this here too. Um, so where does that leave us with long-term market direction? If this bull still wants to run, how's it going to do it? Well, if this orange line is really technically significant, as I kind of suspect it is, um, if you look, there's plenty of room underneath this line over the next months of uh, for the markets to move up nicely. Uh, remember this pattern had a target of about 14.28 or 14.20s um, and see what with this this failed but you know it could be and again I, I'm, I'm not saying for sure but it could be that we're setting up some type of uh, uh, rectangular or maybe even a continuation pattern that is taking the form as a double bottom. It's not a bottom because it's it would be a continuation. But I'm just keeping my I'm just keeping uh, my mind and my eyes open. 
I mentioned also if we come up here and tag this orange line and then turn back down and this looks like a potential uh, head and shoulders top we need to be ready to call that too but for right now just looking at it on a day-by-day -day basis looking to me um, like we've got some back test business to do uh, up in the uh, high 1290s and uh, and that should um, I would I would expect that to take place in the next day or so um, again you know I made a monkey of myself yesterday when I said we're gonna bounce here clearly we didn't but uh, but you know that's what that's what uh, the game is all about uh, better to uh, to go along here than to go along here or here so you wait till that move to support because if it does break down you've got a high likelihood of a back test that will get you out even or even with a small gain. So keep that in mind. Uh, look, appreciate you watching this video. If you get a chance, please uh, come spend a little time at freechartvideos.com where we use time-honored techniques to, to try to understand modern markets.